Welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. Italian kitchen. Today we're gonna make Italian meatballs my way. I do it my way. Tonight we're having raviolis and I thought what would go better with raviolis than my homemade meatballs. So I figured I'd show you tonight how I make my personal homemade meatballs. So let me begin by showing you some of the ingredients to go into my meatballs. Let me show you what I'm working with. You know what I mean? Hey. So what you're going to need for these meatballs is a half pound ground pork and a half pound ground beef. You're going to need one cup of breadcrumbs and a half cup of milk. And I'll show you why the milk in a moment. You're going to need one third grated Parmesan cheese, a quarter cup Italian parsley, and two finely chopped garlic cloves, one large egg, and salt and pepper to taste. All right, so the first thing before we do anything is pour ourselves a nice glass of vino because the staple to any Italian kitchen is vino and cheese. Got my wine, and I got my cheese. All right, so the first thing I do before I do anything else is wash my hands. The first step in making these Italian meatballs is having moist breadcrumbs. A lot of people just throw their breadcrumbs dry right in the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. Uh, 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 that's not the way to do it. I like to soak my breadcrumbs in some milk. It gives them moisture, it brings moisture to the meatball. And then, add a little bit of milk. One cup breadcrumbs to a half cup of milk. And I like to stir that up, get everything wet and moist. All right, so we're just gonna set this aside and let it soak up all that moisture. Now you go to your big bowl. In the big bowl, you're gonna mix everything else. You grab pork, you grab beef, I like to break it up a little bit, so I broke it up in the bowl a little bit. And then pretty much I just add everything else. Third cup of grated parmesan, two tablespoons of minced garlic, one beet egg, and a quarter cup chopped parsley. Mix all that in together. I like to get right on in there with my hands. And then finally, you want to mix in your breadcrumbs that's been soaking in the milk. Break that up in there and mix it all together. I like to get right in there with both hands and mash it together. You want to make sure everything's mixed together really well. All right, now that you got your meatball mixture all combined and incorporated together, it's time to make the meatballs. What I like to do, and here's a little trick for all you little Italian chefs out there, just put a little olive oil on your hand. Make some form real nice and it coats the meatball itself in olive oil, which gives it a nice crispiness when it's in the oven. Yeah, 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 that's the way I do it. I bake my meatballs. Now, I know frying is a common practice, but it's really messy and it's a lot of unnecessary oil. So, in an effort to make my meatballs a little healthier, I bake them, but I do coat them in a little olive oil. So, when they bake, they still have a little browning and, and, and oily flavor to them. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour a little oil on my hands, like like this. I'm gonna grab myself a little bit of the meatball mixture, and I'm gonna roll this in my hands like this until they're about a golf ball size, maybe a little bit bigger, but you can make them any size you like. Okay, when you're all done, I didn't quite get a dozen out of this recipe, but about a dozen meatballs. There you go. And what I did is I preheated my oven at 400 degrees. I'm gonna slide them in there for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna check the center, make sure there's no pink. And you got some Italian meatballs for dinner. Hey, welcome back. And now after 20 minutes, my meatballs are coming out of the oven. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, don't they look good? We cut through one here, and there's no pink in the middle. So they're perfectly cooked all the way through, and we let them cool for a little while longer. And in the meantime, we're gonna cook the raviolis, and then we're gonna have raviolis and meatballs for dinner. So there you go. Italian meatballs and Buck's Italian Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
And I hope this is a great recipe that maybe you could try at home. And if you do, let me know how they come out because I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so there you have it. Italian meatballs in Buck's Italian Kitchen. This is my lovely wife, Lisa. We have a channel called The Buck Stop where we do all kinds of videos, challenges, reviews, recipes. We have an Everything Lisa segment. A lot of good times. So come on over and check us out. Val, thanks for having us on with Nibbling with the Neighbors. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and we hope to see you at the Buck Stop. Thanks for watching. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. See you tomorrow. Same vlog time, same vlog channel. <laughs> and as always, peace. Your grease, kitchen on the floor, and the floor.